any day now. And wait, am I? I wasn't. Hadn't clicked on it. All right. Welcome to Toxic. Blue <sighs> <laughs> for real. Welcome to Toxic Witch Gaming, where we do not knock things over at the start of an episode. This is one of our first episodes, so there's going to be a bunch of hiccups, and oh, look at how slowly that's moving. So good. We are going to do one of my personal favorites, which is Parasite Eve. I don't remember how old it is at this point. 98 or 97, can't remember. But uh, I like it because it's, it's old. I wonder if whatever i had something to say about it but no longer so we're just gonna go ahead and just get into it you can't skip cutscenes, so we're just gonna sit and enjoy how beautiful it is and how it has aged so well very gracefully very, very gracefully. gracefully doesn't look at all like a uh I, I just woman. noticed she's crying. Yeah, yeah, that's actually one of the first things that I noticed when I played it at first. I saw, I thought it was just tears, but, uh... It's blood. Late, well, it's not blood. Later in the game, they reveal what it actually is. But I won't, oh. I won't spoil anything. Not yet. I'll do my best to keep this spoiler free. I'm not gonna spray that. Well, I mean, the cutscenes are really pretty, though. You know, it's funny... It does look pretty good for a ninety seven a game that came out in ninety seven. It's pretty up there, but when we start seeing actual people and you start to see Aya for um, in her all, all of her three D glory, you'll see that uh, not that cute. Ooh. It's kind of <laughs> kind of a it's a little oh yeah I can yeah, see yeah yeah. <laughs> So, 84% of her body is leg. Even though she's wearing platform heels, it doesn't change. It's such an iconic look. The fucking Aya with her two little um, flips of hair and her, like, mullet slicked back. And she looks so fucking good. And her platform heels. Like, that is the quintessential Parasite Eve. Like, when you think Parasite Eve, at least in my case, you think of Aya in the dress... Or in the only other outfit she has in the game, which is the jacket and jeans, which is my absolute favorite outfit. Anyway, get out of now, my way. Now, I've really never seen this. Like, it's a new, it's really new for me, so. Perfect. I'll tell yeah. you one thing. It's very cheesy B-movie-ish. Oh, shh. That's perfect. Oh, the opera's on. All right, so anyway. Can you imagine being that bitch at the opera? Fucking... You can hear it, right? No. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that's right, no. Uh, hold up. Well, in a minute. We'll fix it in post. Oh, uh, give me just one second, actually. So, while that's going on, I'm not gonna read it. So that we have a basic gra gri grasp, grasp, grasp on the amount of time we're spending on this. I'm going to go ahead and set up a timer. But I'm not going to let it go off. I'm just going to make like a stopwatch. Please click it. That's my phone. Pretty much everything that's happening right now. Lady in the dress is Eva, appropriately named. Um, she's gonna sing a beautiful song for us, which is still one of my favorites, even though it's like, I don't know. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, I'll fix it so that you can hear it in a little bit, but, um, cause that's kind of important for you to be able to hear also what's happening. I mentioned this on our first run, I have to mention it again. Her fucking titties are just out there. And I think those are the reason why I'm just, you know, just so into them. The titties. But anyway, 
you can't really see her legs because they're hidden underneath her skirt. But when you see Aya in the um, later cutscenes, I love how this is just happening and everyone's like, okay. Oh. And Aya's just like, oh, this is interesting. This doesn't usually happen. But, um. Well, I mean. I mean, like, she's a police officer, and she's sitting there going, like, people are dying, I'm just sitting this, here. <laughs> this is really intense. I can actually feel the heat of the flames. So interesting. But like I mentioned, like I mentioned, I think it's so weird that they were talking about burning her at the stake, right. and the next thing, the whole thing is burning. And yeah, exactly. I feel like the opening for this kind of introduces a lot of the theme of the game to include the burning aspect, which she, of course, demonstrated. Um, <laughs> that happening no, that just hilarious. so quickly, like, just not even talking, just and then, get out of here! And she's like, ah! And he jumps up, and he's just fucking gone. And anyway, um, this is kind of important to plot, so I will go over this. Eyes in the NYPD, she said freeze. You're the only one who seems to be fine. And she's the only one who was not burned and she doesn't quite get it. You should be awakening soon. What are you talking about? Listen, your cells are trying to communicate. And she's like, they're calling out. All right, favorite song in the entire world. I think this entire soundtrack is my favorite. So. Kind of uh, like, like me in some of the Silent Hills songs. Oh, Silent Hills got a great soundtrack too, but this is like my entire childhood wrapped up conveniently into, like, one package. Everything about this pretty much epitomizes childhood gaming for me, because a lot of people our age grew up with Super Nintendo and regular Nintendo, which just bottles me mind, because it's like, I was too poor to have a Nintendo. So when I was five, I finally got the, um, Super Nintendo, which by then was deprecated hardware because it was like 97, and the uh, PS1 had just come out. Eve is introducing herself as Eve. If you know a little bit about, I guess, biology, it would be a part of. There is either theorized or an actual woman named Mitochondria Eve who's supposed to be like the mother of all humankind, all that good stuff, which is kind of like biblical. I don't know. I'd have to look into that. But they say it in here, and I'm pretty sure that I've read about it elsewhere. I'm running into a wall. I'm pretty sure I've read about it elsewhere. Now, in the last game, um, our uh, trial run of this, I kind of uh, just blitz, oops, blitz through everything. But I'm not going to do that now. I know she's down there. So at this point, Aya's homies come, and you can go get healed up, you can go get ammo, all that good, good stuff, but I'm not going to do any that of that now. That child me out. <laughs> the, I know, that child does creep me out. But, she kind of got the whole blonde thing going on, she's kind of like Aya looking, and the, I can't, I mean, I can't say in the face, because the face? Can't really see. Let's check out these faces, you ready? Oh, no, she can't mm -hmm. go. Oh, she wants to go back now. Let's see. There are iron rings on the side. I can use them to climb out. Nope. And she... Oh, yeah. Okay, so check out these... Oh, we've already discussed the legs. Oh, keep going. I didn't mean to pause it. I like how she, like, before she runs, she slowly walks. Like, slowly, slowly, oh, and, and then go, bam! so slow. Like, if I were to walk through this entire game, I would take twice as long. And then the running animation, she's, like, sliding, so... Beautiful game, really. Anyway, we're off. Another iconic Parasite Eve cutscene. And really, I guess it's only because it's one of the first, as well as being shown in the, um... What's it called? Well, I mean, for the time, the graphics are not that bad in oh, the Oh, they're, they're great. Yeah, they look great. You can really tell where all the budget went for this game. And it wasn't in the storytelling, the pacing, Kind of like or... Final Fantasy with their Oh my god, girl. Final Fantasy VIII has the most beautiful
beautiful cutscenes. The water in that game, so nice. Final Fantasy VIII as a game, not so good. Pretty bad, in fact. Can't wait to play it. Yes, that'd be amazing. Oh, that was fucking easy. I'm having a much easier time with this now. I guess because I'm just doing it kind of offhandedly and I'm not trying to, like... Jesus, did Eve do that to the rat? What is going on here? My favorite part about the uh, subtitles on this are, like, random capitalizations and grammar, so it's very obvious that writers did not write this. But, uh, on the topic of writers... Hold on, let's let's talk to this guy. Ah! We got a thing here. Got some stuff. Got some medicine. You wanna drop an item here? Nope. I'm pretty sure I could open that. Bird! Yep. Hot, hot. That phone is blinking. Yes. The phones in this game are, um, save points. I probably will not need to use them that often because... Psh, not pretty cool. But, uh, alright, so we found a key. And we're just gonna run right to where the key needs to be used. Polly wants a cracker. Polly does want a cracker. I think it is this door? I love how she opens the door. She just fucking puts both of her hands gently on the door and wills it open. This place is brimming with, like... I love how I say this and... Oh, here we go. Okay. There we go. I love how I say this. I, the place is brimming with items, but, uh... That diary freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> Why? Because oh, yeah. She, the, she how goes, she, like, she progresses. Just, yeah. So, basically, I'm not gonna read this. I'll just kind of go over it. I know this fucking game back to front, so... This is Melissa's diary. Melissa, we will later find out, is the woman who played Eva in the theater and who is now Eve. Melissa, her body started, she started having heat flashes and all that sort of good stuff. I'm gonna keep going down this way. I can go right to Eve right now, but I'm not going to. I wanna get a couple of things, I wanna level up a bit. Um, oh, oh. Um, what was I saying, Melissa, Eve? Oh, so Eve was having, Melissa was having hot flashes. And so she's like, well, this is weird. So she goes to her doctor and she's like, doctor, what can I do? And he's like, oh, here's some medicine. So I guess doctor gives her medicine. And, um, she takes she it, but she is, it just keeps getting worse and worse. So she's like, well, damn, this sucks. She's going through the change. Yeah, she's going through the change. Exactly. So, um, she is double cast with another woman, Suzanne, for her... <laughs> Hello, Athena. She is I'm double sorry. It's okay. She's please leave me alone. She is double cast with Suzanne for the lead part in their play. But she knows, everybody knows, Suzanne is very good, and the only way that Eve is gonna get that part is if Suzanne somehow does not show up. So as things progress, you find out that Suzanne dies in a house fire and Melissa's like oh my god was that because of me and she's just like oh my god so of course she gets the lead part she gets a special Christmas show uh, or a solo at the um at she gets a solo song at the park at Central Park this is all in New York on Christmas Day and there's gonna be tons of people there to see it. They're all, it's all booked, all full up. And then finally, it's just too much for her to bear and Melissa comes to light. We will later find out why, I mean, Eve comes to light. We'll later find out why that Eve is, why Melissa became Eve and all that good stuff. But uh, for now, we're kind of in the dark and I'll just go through it as it comes up rather than just spoil everything all at once. I really love the scientific horror aspect of this game because I think science is fucking cool and all that good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Uh, right now I can open that. Pretty much, it's very hard to tell. I'm sorry. I saw you were getting ready to say something. It's very hard to tell in these sorts of games because of the pre-rendered backgrounds, but this is one thing that I don't like. I never knew that you could open this as a kid. 
and it's hard to open now, so sometimes you're like, well, am I dreaming that? But you can open it, as well as get an item out of it. So, what were you gonna say before I so rudely cut you off? Oh no, I was just wondering how you knew that wall right there it's had funny. a thing. I, I don't know. I really don't remember how I knew that. I just, either I read about it or I saw that shape and I'm like, mm, look at that. Or I think what it was, was I wanted to read those papers. And I was trying to read the papers and nothing happened. And then it's like, oh, the wall. And the wall just fucking... So see, there is an item in here. It's like an offense or a range or something like that. But it's so finicky. I have to be at a specific spot of the fucking armoire to get it. And I, for the life of me, can't remember. And I'm probably going to spend like the next 10 minutes trying to get it. So instead of doing that, I'm going to call this a successful first episode because it's running over 10 minutes, not to mention I didn't time it at first. So, yeah, that was pretty fun. That was, that was I'm, awesome. I'm excited to continue my favorite game. So, uh, thanks for watching, I guess. If you're watching, I appreciate it. And like and subscribe. Yeah, do the like, and comment, comment. And hey, if you um, have mitochondria in your cells, like, comment, and subscribe. We'd appreciate it. <laughs> It'd be awesome. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.